Bruh. Welcome Ooh. to Stank Mouth Gaming. Finish him. No. That shit stank, down it? Ugh. Morant with a running start. Elevates. Oh, it does. Oh, my goodness. Jobbers. So, I, I mean, watch this. This is with. 40 seconds to go in a tight game. Crosses him, going away from the basket, throws it in. Irving against Morant. Irving blocked by Morant. We're going to overtime. Link to come up with a huge block on Kyrie Irving. I almost forgot, though, that he could have gotten the ball and called the time. As high as 33 against Milwaukee. Morant down the lane and powers it in. Gobert did not challenge. And it's a three-point game. Rebound Morant. Wow, what handles by the kids. Down the lane, where with two hands. I think that he doesn't have control of the basketball. But he thinks that he is in the has the utmost control. Caroms out to Anderson. Here is Morant turning on the burgers. Oh my! Wow! What a ridiculous finish from John! the back move from John Moran. Well, just watch where he starts it. That starts at the free throw line. Got it away from Clark. Blocked by Clark. Picked up by Solomon Hill. Moran against Harris. Where with the right hand? And there's the rookie announcing his presence with authority. An eight-second call, yeah. This guy kind of across the timeline. John Moran oh, right to the rim. Goodness. So Patrick Beverly is out with a right wrist sprain. Paul Jordan. Oh! Thing is, he, he's already playing up. And the thing about these wing players and what's so good about this Grizzlies team this year is it always had to be Mike Conley that had to bring the ball up every time. Finish. By Jaron, by John. Think of him as a shooter because he's so efficient. Moran gets up. He said, no, no, Jaron. This alley-oop is mine. And Young's trying to get him going. Got to make sure we show our hands when he's got the ball. Love for Morant. Genoculars from Josh Jackson. Brooks is out with the four fouls. Josh Jackson in and delivers a beautifully. Hey, yo, what's good, y'all? This your boy, Stank Mouth Memphis, 901's favorite cousin, the god of mischief and your auntie's favorite nephew. And we back like Cairo Pratt with another video. Huh. Now, today, I got something special for you guys. But let's go back to the beginning of 2K20. All right, one of the first videos that I posted for this game was a John Morant build, all right? But that's old, that's in the past, and I appreciate those 20-something thousand views. But I have a new John Morant build that I want to show you guys that I have been working on for the last couple days, and I absolutely love this build, all right? So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the build, all right? So first of all, you want to go ahead and make him a point guard right here. As I always say, I don't care which, which hand you use, but I always use the left hand because left-handed people are smarter than right-handed people, and that's just fact. Hey, yeah. All right, and the jersey number is gonna be 12 because that's John Moran. All right, so let's go continue real quick. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys right here. If you guys know me, you not you know I have never been a meta player. What? I've never been a meta player. What? I don't like playing like everybody else. I don't like making the same builds as everybody else what? because I feel like they get super, super, super easy, super repetitive. And I just, I just don't like it. I, you know, I'm a, I'm a big, I'm a firm believer of just because you, you have a, a better, a better build than somebody else, that that does not make you a better player. What? All right, some of y'all out here getting carried by your bills. And there, I said it. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, all right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, all right, you guys probably think that John Morant might be a different type of build than what, than what I'm about to show y'all. But here's what I'm, what I'm about to show you right here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use the blue and yellow par chart. And now I, I don't want to hear it. I, I know uh, red and yellow is better. You get contact. No. All right, we're going to go ahead and use the, the, the uh, yellow and blue par chart because I feel like that's how he really plays in real life. You know what I'm saying? Playmaking and finishing. All right, so let's go. All right, and also we are not going to go with the with the full speed pot chart, right? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go with the um, agility and vertical, cause you know he got them hops like that. All right. So what you're gonna do right here is um, you don't want to max out 
the um the up close shot so we're gonna go ahead and put it all the way up to a 80 and 88 right it's not maxed out it's not maxed out so it's maxed out it's 90 we're gonna put it to an 88 all right we're gonna max out the driving layup though at a 94 and we're gonna max out the driving dunk we're not gonna touch um standing dunk and we're not gonna touch a uh, post hook so this is gonna give us 19 finishing badges that's more than enough all right so for the shooting we're gonna um max out the mid-range the three-point shot and the free throw and we're gonna put the, the post fade to a 49 all right this, this gives us six shooting badges and that's that's cool too you know people you know i, I know you're probably uh, probably looking at this uh three-point shot but i have been greener okay and that was before i, I even got quick drop bronze all right okay i have been greener you know so I'm, I'm gonna miss some but i have been greener i ain't gonna lie to you all right, so um, for the playmaking badges, we're not going to max out pass accuracy all the way. We're going to put it all the way up to a 78. And we're going to put the ball handling up to an 85. There we go. And I'm going to put my post moves at, at, a, uh, at a 70. And you're going to see why. All right, so I'm, for the defense, I'm not going to touch um, interior defense. So I'm going to max out perimeter. I'm going to max out um, lateral quickness. And I'm going to max out the steal. Also, I'm going to max out my uh, block too because you know don't forget he was clamping up Kyrie that's, that's a big block he got big block he got all right and we're gonna max out defense and rebounding for, for the extra badges um I ain't gonna lie to you um this is this this how this how I made, I made my build but if I were to remake this build I would probably put um I would probably bring this down some and you know put 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 a little bit on uh offensive rebound but that's kind of stupid to do because you, you lose two whole badges and that's dumb but i feel like um it is it, it'll be nice to have a little bit up on offensive rebound because 2k do be hoeing you when the ball's right in front of you you can't grab the freaking ball anyway all right so i made him compact right i feel like this is about to be real skinny you know what i'm saying uh, and I, I know uh, John Moran's like 6'2", 6'3", in real life, but for, but for the sake of the game, I went ahead and made him 6'5", because I feel like 6'5", is the perfect, is the perfect height for a point guard in NBA 2K. Alright, and as you see, when you make him 6'5", uh, six, six, you do lose a couple points on your, on your driving layup, but that, it don't matter, we're still 90+. plus. You got, you got plus one to your, to your driving dunk, which is nice. Um, you do uh, take a small notch off mid-range, but that's fine. Ball handling go down, but when you go to uh, whenever you get to, to a 99.9 or whatever, you'll you'll still have 86 ball handling, and you can dribble without 86 ball handling anyway, so that's fine. And you also get plus five in post moves, so I will be um dogging these little ass guards. I will be dogging them, all right. So um, still go down, but look, pay attention to my block down there. It's plus 11 to the block, you know. So a 70 block is really good for for a point guard, okay. And, and, and my, my defense rebound went up plus six, okay? All right, so we're going to keep it going right here. Um, for the weight, I went ahead and made them 205. And for the wingspan, I did 82.6. So one one notch above above the, the uh, default, all right? So we got 71 block right there, which is super nice. All right, all right. Um, I wouldn't blame you if you went, uh, you know, a playmaking takeover. If you're one of those dribbling types, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and break the angles and dunk on them. But for me, you know, I'm more of a, of a boom, boom to the room. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom to the rack. You know what I'm saying? I don't do too much dribbling. I do a move a move here or there, and I go straight straight to the bucket. So, you know, I'm choosing slash and takeover. All right? And so when it's all said or done, you got yourself a slasher similar to Derrick Rose, Russell Westbrook, and Ja Morant. Sounds like nice company to me. All right, so let me go ahead and get to the badges real quick. All right, so boom. So as y'all can see right here, um, my badges are not maxed yet. He's only a 91 overall. All right, so we got 19 potential finishing, six shooting, six, 16 playmaking, and 11 defensive. For the finishing right now, I have contact Hall of Fame, Slippery Hall of Fame, Silver Finisher, Silver Fancy Footwork, uh, put back balls on bronze and giant slayer on bronze. All right, I, I still have five more upgrades left, so I probably um, I don't know. I probably I probably mess around with them some. I probably put some on the uh, balloon finisher. I might take put back off. Might try a uh, giant slayer hall of fame. See what that does, or maybe just put on acrobat. Uh, we're talking about John Moran here. Maybe acrobat. Maybe consistent finisher. Who knows? All right, uh, shooting. Of course, I only get six badges. Um, definitely putting quick draw on, on gold. Might do silver rank extender and, and, a, and a hot zone hunter, or maybe do a catch and shoot, something like that. 
Um, it's up to y'all. Uh, playmaking badges. I have downhill Hall of Fame. I love that badge. Quick first up Hall of Fame. Definitely need that. Tight handle silver, bronze dimer, handle for days, and lob city passer. Um, for the last three, whenever I get them, I might put them on um, on needle threader or or flashy passer. Probably gonna be um, flashy passer because I just love that badge. And John Moran do, do be throwing out them uh, flashy passes. He definitely does. Don't lie to me. Uh, okay. And for the defensive badges, um, right now I got silver clamps, uh, bronze chase down, bronze interceptor, and bronze pickpocket. So I do get six more upgrades. So I'm definitely putting intimidator on gold for for three, which will, which will give me eight. Uh, so so on the, on the last three, I, I might um I might just upgrade interceptor to silver. I might just upgrade these three. I might just upgrade interceptor to silver, pickpocket silver, and chase down on silver. We, we can do it like that. Or I might leave chase down on bronze and put uh put bronze rim protector as well. All right, so that's it for the badges right there. Um. Here's my progression where I have it right now. Y'all can take a look at it. Um, see, right now I'm in 91 speed. So, as, so as y'all see, I'm I'm still 91. Um, whenever I get to 99.9, uh, y'all know how I go. You get plus five to everything. So it's it's gonna be nasty. It's gonna be nasty. It's, it's, this is a really fun build because like right when you you know right when they think that you about to drive to a basket, you know what I'm saying? Like I I can I can green some shots now. I will definitely green some shots if you leave me wide open. I will definitely shoot. I'm not scared to shoot. That's anybody I play with. All right. So that being said, let's go ahead and get to the highlights. You watching this shit, Doc? Yeah, right, right here. Toasty. Contact on. Be careful. It's not gonna work every time. <laughs> they gotta go with the video. <laughs> Stupid. You didn't see, nah, cause he know the meme, but he was like, <laughs> Ray, Ray. Ray. You know? In what? Ray. Ray. Ain't that that boxing movie or something? No, nah. Ray Charles, nigga. Oh wow. Thank you. Come again. Oh, I thought no. we meant, I thought we meant Sugar Ray. <laughs> Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> Irish spring green 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 nigga Come on, man. Can shoot it dog Pull a bow I Oh What the hell They should have Oh yeah yeah definitely definitely that too This is true it To infinity and more. I can't say I like it. I don't dislike it. Hey, yo, Psych. missing something. Do you get a lot? Hmm. Let's go. But when, when he say that, shit, stink, don't it? I love it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. No. Ah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Dang. That's tough. At my nigga. <laughs> hey, if they do this trans, we will live with it. I have jumped so hard. I don't feel it. Uh, that's a peace shoot. That's not fair. Over. Oh, You press square the first time I seen it, I'm like Spanish teacher love going into oh, that class. Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> oh boy, he just did it. Wow. Hey, let's go. John Moran in the building, boy. Let's go, Hydra. Get over here! Let's go, man. All right, guys, we've reached the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you slap that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys at the next video. Peace.